So here I have a model that has been analyzed already. If I want to test or assess the discriminant validity of the model, uh, I can go to View Save Analysis Results, View, Correlations Among Latent Variables and Errors, and take a look at this table, which has the correlations among latent variables with the square roots of the AVEs on the diagonal. And what I expect to see in a model with good discriminant validity is that the numbers on the diagonal are larger than any numbers on the same column. And that is the case here. This is uh, the classic uh, criterion for discriminant validity assessment, also known as the fournell larker criterion. Another uh, more extensive set of coefficients uh, provided for discriminant validity assessment is available from the Explore Additional Coefficients and in Indices. Uh, and this is uh, in version 7.0 of WarPLS uh, and in future versions. Uh, so go to Discriminant Validity Coefficients Extended Set. And here you have again that correlation, uh, that table with correlations among LVs and square roots of AVEs. You also see uh, you have structured loadings and cross loadings. These are non rotated, unrotated. And what you expect to see here is the loadings greater than 0.5. That's a criterion for convergent validity, but also uh, tends to uh, help uh, pick up problems with uh, discriminant validity. Uh, you want, so for example, for the uh, latent variable Ecolab. I have these three indicators. So I want these numbers, the loadings, the unrotated loadings, to be greater than 0.5. And I want the cross loadings, which are these here, to be lower than 0.5. And that's the case. And that's the case for all of the latent variables. So uh, discriminant validity seems to be OK. Uh, another. Um, uh, test or for discriminant validity that has been proposed in the past is the one employing focal linearity variance inflation factors and uh, these um, are provided here as well and we want the focal linearity VIFs to be all greater than uh, all lower than 3.3 to be assured of uh, proper discriminant validity Another criterion is uh, the use of HTMT ratios. And in this case, we want the HTMT ratios to be all lower than 0 0.85 uh, in a more conservative way or in a more relaxed way, uh, lower than 0.90. Uh, if we want to do this test using HTMT ratios uh, and p-values, we want all the p-values here to be lower than 0.05. And if, you want, if we want to use uh, 90, uh, percentile, 90 percent confidence intervals uh, for the HTMT ratios, we, use the, we, we take a look at the, uh, the confidence intervals for each one of the ratios. And uh, we want one, the number one, not to be included in the interval. So, for example, in this case, 0 0.442, 0 0.612, this excludes uh, one. So therefore, um, uh, this particular ratio is not, uh, well, this, the particular ratio associated with this confidence interval passes discriminant validity uh, criteria using 90% uh, uh, confidence intervals for the HTMT ratios. And this, the same is true for all of the other confidence intervals. And this concludes this demo.